Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Today, we're remembering Athanasius, Bishop of Alexandria. He's a really important person in the history of the church because he is the person who, in his festal letter of 367, lists the 27 books of the New Testament that we use now um, as the canonical books. And that's the first time that that happens. They're not in the order that we have them now, but that's uh, that precise number. There's quite a long process of uh, filtering down to these books that have guided the church's uh, teaching and understanding what it means to follow Jesus uh, ever since. So let's begin. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 110. The Lord is King and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. May the Lord stretch forth the scepter of your power, rule from Zion in the midst of your enemies. Noble are you on this day of your birth, on the holy mountain, from the womb of the dawn, the dew of your new birth is upon you. The Lord has sworn and will not retract. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The king at your right hand, O Lord, shall smite down your king smite down kings in the day of his wrath. In all his majesty he shall judge among the nations, smiting heads over all the wide earth. He shall drink from the brook beside the way, therefore shall he lift high his head. The Lord is king and has put on glorious apparel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, divine Son and eternal priest, inspire us with the confidence of your final conquest of evil, and grant that daily on our way we may drink of the brook of your eternal life, and so find courage against all adversities, for your mercy's sake. Amen. Exodus 29. This is a ceremony for consecrating them as priests. Take a young bull and two rams, healthy and without defects, using fine wheat flour but no yeast. Make bread and cakes mixed with oil and wafers spread with oil. Place them in a basket and carry them along with the bull and the two rams. Bring Aaron and his sons to the entrance of the tent of meeting and wash them with water. Then take the vestments and dress Aaron in the tunic, the robe of the ephod, the ephod and the breastpiece, belting the ephod on him with the embroidered waistband. Set the turban on his head and place the sacred crown on the turban. Then take the anointing oil and pour it on his head, anointing him. Then bring his sons, put tunics on them and gird them with sashes. Both Aaron and his sons set, and set hats on them. Their priesthood is upheld by law and is permanent. This is how you will ordain Aaron and his sons. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good for God's love has no end. Oh, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Sing out and praise the Lord. Alleluia. 
The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my song. God has been my saviour. Oh, the Lord is risen. Alleluia. Sing out and praise the Lord. Alleluia. Luke 2. When the eighth day arrived, the day of circumcision, the child was named Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived. Then when the days stipulated by Moses for purification were complete, they took him up to Jerusalem to offer him to God as, as commanded in God's law. Every male who opens the womb shall be a holy offering to God and also to sacrifice the pair of doves or two young pigeons prescribed in God's law. In Jerusalem at that time, there was a man, Simeon by name, a good man, a man who lived in the prayerful expectancy of help for Israel, and the Holy Spirit was on him. The Holy Spirit had shown him that he would see the Messiah of God before he died. Led by the Spirit, he entered the temple. As the parents of the child Jesus brought him in to carry out the rituals of the law, Simeon took him into his arms and blessed God. God, you can now release your servant. Release me in peace as you promised. With my own eyes, I've seen your salvation. It's now out in the open for everyone to see. A God revealing light to the non-Jewish nations and of glory for your people Israel. Jesus' father and mother were speechless with surprise at these words. Simeon went on to bless them and said to Mary, his mother, this child marks both the failure and the recovery of many in Israel. A figure misunderstood and contradicted. The pain of a sore thrust through you. But the rejection will force honesty, as God reveals who they really are. Anna the prophetess was also there, a daughter of Phanuel from the tribe of Asher. She was by now a very old woman. She had been married seven years and a widow for 84. She never left the temple area, worshipping night and day with her fasting and prayers. At the very time Simeon was praying, she showed up, broke into an anthem of praise to God, and talked about the child to all who were waiting expectantly for the freeing of Jerusalem. When they finished everything required by God in the law, they returned to Galilee, and their own town, Nazareth. There the child grew strong in body and wise in spirit, and the grace of God was on him. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on the cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. At the name of Jesus every knee shall bow. And so as we come to our intercessions this morning, we... I'll pray for the process of ordination and training, and uh, we pray for those who devote their lives to being attentive to God and waiting upon Him and in prayer. Father, we pray for those who are training for ordination at the moment, and uh, whose training is being disrupted by. Um, the restrictions on being in the same place together. We pray for those who are going through the process of discernment. Similarly, uh, facing challenges there and, and selection conferences. I, I don't know how they're happening now, but uh, they're probably not happening at all. People are having to wait and to wait on you. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for all those through the past generations as we remember Athanasius today, uh, whose lives were devoted to attending to you. And we pray that you would raise up such in our own day to be uh, true and faithful guides and lights in the difficult times that we face, necessarily because we're human and life is difficult, and also because of the big challenges that we face as a race on this planet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, we pray for Dennis and all our lay readers. Pray for Catherine and her process of training. Um, again, disrupted by uh, the present restrictions. Thank you for those who give attention and time to, to learning and to theology and to practice and practical service in the community. And Father, we thank you for Dennis for his long contribution to the life of this town, the difference he's made to uh, thousands of young people and continues to do through his uh, ministry in the press and as a writer and just as a, a person in our midst. Lord, we pray that you bless him and his family today. And Father, we pray for the Nightingale Hospitals in Birmingham and Manchester. I'm not sure if they have any patients at the moment. I think they probably don't. So we pray for that difficult process of readiness and emptiness simultaneously. And so, um, much like uh, Simeon and Anna, isn't it? To be constantly ready and alert, uh, but in a state of waiting and anticipation. And Lord, we pray that uh, those preparations, we thank you that they're there. And we pray that they wouldn't need to be used, uh, but they'd be used uh, in a way that's most fruitful and most helpful uh, for those who need it. Lord, please bless all those staff who are, who are stretched to, in readiness to, to supply the need there. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, as we thank you for the gift of this day, we pray that you'd help us to rejoice in it, that you'd save us from our a sense of uh, boredom or uh, being brought down, being uh, depressed and laid low by the restrictions we currently live under. Give us a sense of uh, the inner joy that comes from knowing the expanse of your love and the great purpose you have for us in the world. We thank you for the fellowship that we enjoy with one another. Thank you for our loving St Peter's community and we pray that you'd help us to express and realize that this day and in the days that come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Ever living God, whose servant Athanasius testified to the mystery of the word made flesh for our salvation, help us with all your saints to contend for the truth and grow into the likeness of your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so with longing we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Well, thank you for joining me, and uh, more on Athanasius at five o'clock tonight. See you then.